uh, so it is taking some time so it will open a account details page so it is similar uh, similar way of uh, uh, like we if we if you go to this uh, navigation and then accounts right same kind of view uh, view we can see here this is also same way but it is just uh, uh, another like uh, way of uh, using objects so and also here we can open uh, i think different uh, records at a time so suppose i selected this account right so now again i'll go to workspace and uh, i'll try to open another record so it will open in a different tab like you see here uh, different in different tab it is open so if i want to switch to uh, the previous record i can easily navigate but uh, if you if you remember like uh, in our uh, uh, traditional ui so we don't have this feature so if i want to go to the next record i should cancel this record and then again i should search for that record and again i need to open so but with workspace uh, uh, ui we have uh, like we can we can we can expose multiple records okay at a time also uh, like i'll switch to uh, another object suppose maybe contacts so to, to to switch to another object i just need to select uh, this here account uh, like contacts object and that's default saved searches like if i select all contacts all contacts i can see whatever contacts i can see those will be appeared here and if i choose my contacts only my con my contacts will come and there is one more option my smart list for contacts so this is uh, uh so this will give the contacts related to specific related to specific uh, uh, user uh, who is logged in so something like uh, the this will work for actually opportunities uh, better you can show so if i select my smart list for opportunities so it can give uh, my records with the nearest close fit okay it will it can give the opportunities that are coming uh, like the closest date is very near so we need to complete uh, this opportunity soon so in that case so uh, the sales cloud application can recommend that opportunity uh, so that we can do uh, like whatever records coming uh, near date so on those we can work and maybe like one more option is like win probability if win probability is 100% and that opportunity is not uh, not yet a uh, close it so it can recommend because this is high probability high win probability record so please work on that something like that so it can recommend uh, those opportunities if we select this my smart list uh, option so this is there for almost uh, uh, yeah for accounts we can see and for leads we can see for opportunities we can see and for contacts uh, for leads also it's there for partners yeah only i think for, for these four objects accounts contacts leads opportunities we can see this smart list also i think uh, for service requests also so and also if you observe previously we opened this uh, account record right so these are account records so if i i can add uh, um better I don't have uh, no, i have some opportunities uh yeah okay so if you also observe uh my if i choose my opportunity my open opportunities it is filtering automatically like my open means op status with open and 
my opportunities right so it means the records which i own so like this filters we can configure so how we can configure is um suppose uh, so here you can expand show filters okay here you can see some filter options right so if i select here win probability less than 20% so that filter will be added so if i want to save this list okay save this particular uh, filter so i can use this button save as so i can say uh, my opportun my open opportunities uh uh my open low probability right my open low probability opportunities and i can set uh, i can set this particular saved search as a default one so it means when i open this workspace so this particular uh, uh, opportunity object will be selected and this particular saved search will be automatically selected and it will display the results if i if i open first time so uh for now i'll select this and we have option as an administrator we have option to share this uh to uh to to show this particular saved set only to me or to everyone or uh to specific people so for now i'll select only me i can create this particular uh saved set so it will be listed in opportunities if you see my open low probability opportunities is listed here and also uh so if i want to remove this particular filters i can just click on this uh, cross button so that uh, the filters will be automatically applied so with the win probability 20 uh, less than 20% i have this many opportunities okay uh and also you can see a uh, segregation uh so here uh, 0 to 20% right how many records are appearing uh, how many records having uh, like 0 to 20% win probability so we can get that count here. and uh, if you see this uh, sales stage option one or seven opportunities with this filter okay with this filter one or seven opportunities are qualified under qualification status i think the same value added here uh, maybe but uh, for presentation three opportunities uh, are there okay and if i select this particular filter right immediately it will refresh and it will show those three records here and if you observe the win probability is 10% so which is satisfying our criteria right 0 to 20% 0 to less than 20% and having 0 to presentation uh, as a filter so if i open any one record ah okay here sir we can see uh zero to presentation is a sales stage one so this is how we can use this filters uh, okay we can filter based on dates this quarter next quarter this year last year so we can do that uh, kind of manipulation uh and yeah for amount fields it will come like this uh, with the ranges okay uh so suppose if i want to i have only these fields as a filters if i want more fields i can click this uh pencil button and i can just add the uh, the field i want and the default behavior is it can support only till six filters so if i want to add one filter uh Uh, like means more than 
six i can't i can't do so for that reason like uh, we can we can remove one field and then we can add new field so the reason is it will not support more than six uh, fit and then uh, so filter section is over so now uh, this uh, yeah if you observe here uh, it, it can show this uh, three results so whatever uh, with the criteria here we we are selecting so with this criteria in opportunity this many records are uh, available so that that information we can we can see here also we can sort uh, by different options okay and we can use this up and down arrow for uh, sorting uh, if we if we need to sort based on close date uh, ascending or descending so i can choose that field and i can select the option field uh then and if you observe this uh, count right so it means uh so ideally it should give only these records no. but anyway um so this this will also show the count uh count for different uh, for win probabilities and if we want to add some columns in this area right so instead of name um, like if i want to add any column so i can click this edit columns i can click this pencil icon icon and then edit columns so i can add as many fields i want so here there is no limit uh, i think we can we don't have that much limit uh, so we can add more fields uh, here so the added fields will be coming here and if we save this particular uh, uh, whatever we have done right right so this filter including this filters and then the added columns everything will be saved then uh, one more thing we have uh, in uh, workspace is we can create uh, like records uh, we don't need to go so suppose if i want to create an activity for this particular opportunity i don't need to go to uh, inside uh, inside this uh, opportunity and then from there I, I don't need to go to activity object and then creating activity there so instead i can use this uh, action and from here we can see different actions available okay uh, creating uh, activity task note okay and then copy opportunity a delete opportunity or update opportunity so all these we can perform at at action at, at this particular record level itself so for example like for this for this uh, uh, opportunity if i want to create a uh, task so i can just simply select create task so it will the system will automatically selects this opportunity and it will tag to this task so that yeah if you see opportunity is already tagged and here uh, we can mention the uh, uh, activity name and i can, we can create and 
so like this we can create the child records or related records uh, for this particular uh, object and also if you observe uh, we have we can we can add multiple object records in uh, in this like this tabs so suppose these two records are account records right so i can add uh, one more record for opportunity uh, in the same uh, like in the next tab so that uh, i can compare uh, op opportunity information and account information or some some other object information so yeah if i remember <coughs> this feature is not available in our traditional view so then uh, and we can use this for uh, the search box for for any kind of searching this this is used like fuzzy logic it means we can enter uh, something randomly um, so it will give all the records containing uh, like this if you if you see if you observe so if i i just gave t right so it it is selecting uh, wherever that t is there so it it is selecting all of that so like this uh, it can search using contains or uh, contain uh, contains uh, function or contains uh, filter uh, uh, contains operator actually uh, so we can so if we select opportunity the results will be on opportunity if we select some other object the results will be on that particular object also we have uh, export option so where we can export the uh, resulted data so in this case these two records will be exported in a csv file okay so whatever uh, the uh, fields we have exposed right so those fields will be uh, coming in the export um that is all about uh, box space uh, any questions no sir mm -hmm. uh, i think uh, that's all for today